What up guys, it's Tech Tutorials here back with another video and in this video I'll be showing you how to prove the sum or difference rule. Basically I'll, I'll be doing the proof of the sum rule. It's basically the same thing, that's why I put the plus minus, the same process. It's a very straightforward proof. I pretty much doubt that your teacher will ever ask how to prove this rule, but just for your knowledge, I'll do it, whatever. We will be using the definition of a derivative, which is right here. We'll be using this definition right here. Alright, so to, I'm going to start off right now. So to start off, I'm just writing down the definition of this, of this function, f of x plus g of x, right? The definition of this, I'm going to use how to prove this. Well, limit as delta x approaches 0 using this definition of a derivative. We could have, since it's two functions, it's f plus g of x. My apologies, f plus g of x plus delta x according to the definition of a derivative minus the two functions f plus g of x. All this over delta x. Now it does look weird, it does look a bit complicated, but I'll show you what I mean by f plus g of x plus delta x. What I basically mean is I'm trying to distribute them. So I'm trying to make this multiply with this, I'm trying to make this multiply with this, I'm trying to make this multiply with this, and I'm trying to make this multiplied with this. Basically, I'm just distributing everything. So, to rewrite everything to make things a lot more clearer, so to tell you what I'm trying to say is I'm just basically doing f of x plus delta x plus g of x plus delta x minus f of x plus g of x, right? But since there's a minus in front of these, we need to make sure that we have a brackets all over these because this becomes a minus later on. And I'll just put this over delta x. Now to continue, we need to look at look at what we could group. What what can we move around here? Well, we could group the f of x's and we could group the g of x's. So I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to rewrite the limit as delta x approaches 0. I'm going to group the f of x's minus f of x, right? And I'll put them together plus plus the g of x plus delta x minus the g of x and I'm gonna put that together I basically group them together it doesn't change anything and I'll put this over delta x all right so basically we're done we're just gonna break down the limits according to limit properties we can put the limit here and we could put the limit here so so to break it down its limit as delta x approaches zero I'm just gonna copy the first part plus the limit so basically we're done recall that the definition of a derivative is this so this is very very similar to this well basically this is exactly the same thing as this and the definition of an arbitrary function an arbitrary function f prime x right the, the, the derivative of an arbitrary function f prime x is this using the definition of a derivative this is f of x right it could have been it could have been let's say it could have been g it could have been h prime x and we'd still have the definition using the definition of a derivative which would have been h x plus delta x minus h of x over delta x so basically this is just the definition of a derivative of, of any function that that allows a derivative. So using this, knowing that that is the definition of a derivative, we just say that this is f prime x plus g prime x. And it has been proven.